ever get these annoying pop-ups telling you your iPhone can't back up because you need to upgrade your iCloud storage or you need to manage what you have in the iCloud storage in your settings? Well, let's break down what this means and why you're getting those messages and what you should do about them depending on your situation, okay? Now, what is this message and why are you getting it? This message occurs because the five gigabytes of free iCloud storage space that Apple gives you is full or it filled up. Now, it might be full of videos, pictures, or whatever else you're storing in iCloud. And if you're not sure what you're storing in your iCloud on your Apple devices, I can show you how to check that right now. Okay, everyone, so I'm gonna show you how to check it. Um, I'm gonna do it on my iPhone. This is gonna pretty much apply for Mac device, uh, if you have like a Mac computer or if you have an iPad, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into the settings of my phone, okay? And once I'm inside the settings, I'm going to find my name at the top. Uh, that is my Apple account or Apple settings, essentially, my Apple account settings. Once I'm inside of here, I'm going to scroll down to the area where it says iCloud. I'm going to tap on that. Then I can come down here and see what items are being saved to iCloud. So like right now I have my photos on, um, my passwords are being stored, things like my messages, my drive and my notes. I'm not storing. I can open this up to see all and get more um you know, customize it a little bit more to myself, what I want to show up in iCloud and what I don't want to show up in iCloud, okay? So that's how you check it on your phone, okay? And as you can see inside of my iCloud, it is actually full right now. So if I scroll uh, to the top of my iCloud back here, come, come back, I'm actually full on that five gigabytes, okay? So as I mentioned before, Apple gives us the five gigabytes. We fill it up. In this case, I probably filled it up with photos, okay? Um, and I don't purchase more space, okay? So you have a couple options when it comes to filling up the iCloud storage space. You can either choose to do what I do, which is from time to time, I move all of my photos from my phone and my iCloud. I download them to my computer. I put them on an external drive. And then I nuke both areas. So I actually just delete all the photos from my iPhone and from my iCloud. And that makes it so I don't have to upgrade the storage space, okay? I don't ever have to pay for more than the five gigabytes of storage space, okay? Now, the pricing on the plans for iCloud Plus is actually pretty reasonable, okay? So iCloud, iCloud Plus is a subscription that you can add to your iCloud service that in increases the storage space, okay? So they give you the five gigabytes free, you fill that up, and then you can do what I do, which is again, taking all of the photos from my phone and from my iCloud, I just da download them all to my computer, I put them to an external drive, and then I delete everything out of both areas. That makes it so I never have to pay for more storage space, or you can pay for more storage space, okay? The minimum plan is 99 cents for 50 gigabytes, which is actually a pretty decent amount of space uh, for the, the price that you pay, okay? If you're using almost all Apple devices, like if you're using a Mac computer, an iPhone, and an iPad, it would be strongly recommended, and I would advise you to go ahead and get that extra storage space, especially if you've already filled up your five gigabytes. The reason for that is because your files can sync across all of your devices. And so if you want that to be happening, if you don't wanna to have to be constantly clearing the storage out on all of those devices, if you get you know 99 cents, 50 gigabytes, probably gonna cover you for a while. Um, and then the plans just kinda of go up from there. I have the current pricing on screen right now. Uh, very reasonable, not insane what they're asking, okay? So very cheap cloud storage space. In addition to that, if you move from one Apple device to another and you want all of your data to move from the one device to the other, having that extra storage space, especially if, if you have enough data to fill that storage space, that's gonna be nice because once you move to the new device, sign into your iCloud or your Apple account, all of the data just moves right in out of the cloud, okay? So there are definitely some situations where you would want to have it, okay? Again, if you have all Apple products, 
you're definitely going to want to think about signing up for the subscription and increasing your storage space okay or if it just sounds like a hassle the other thing the other um option that i explained where you could take all of your photos from your phone and off of the iCloud and put them to an external drive and then clear those storage spaces out. If that sounds like a lot of work or something you're not willing to do, don't worry about it. Just pay for the extra space. Or maybe you're not worried about cloud storage at all. Just remember that this storage space being full doesn't mean that your iPhone is necessarily full or your device's local storage is full. It just means that the cloud storage space that Apple gives you is full, okay? So you can continue to take videos and pictures on your device when iCloud storage is full and that'll you know it'll make it so that you'll still have them on your phone they just won't be um, in in the cloud okay i will say another thing that's kind of nice about iCloud plus um, is that if you turn on photos so when you come in here and you turn photos on or off so i'm going to turn it off right now so you can see this and i turn it back on it's going to normally give me an option to, um, if, my, if my storage wasn't full, it would give me an option to go ahead and free up space on my iPhone by pushing as many files, large files into the cloud as possible so they're not stored locally, they're in the cloud, but I can still see them on my phone, okay? That's really great if you're running out of local storage space on your phone, okay? So iCloud Plus, Definitely a plus if you need the storage space and you want to keep all your files in the cloud, easy to access from your other Apple devices or move to them if you need to. Now, if you're struggling with iCloud storage space or your or any of your technology in general, period, reach out to us via the number at the beginning and the end of the video. We'd be happy to help. Today's video actually comes from our blog. So if you want more information on iCloud Plus, go check that out and definitely hit that like and subscribe down below if you liked the video so I can see you on the next one.